Alright guys, and I'm back again for the third time, second time, whatever. sure what the level of enchantment that is. I imagine it's a Alright, Medicas. Medica. And <clears throat> since I do plan on taking up the boss here. Let's see. Use those I know we're almost there. there guys can you feel the excitement <coughs> I can't there's no reason it's hard to get excited right now all right so do we get that creepy music again as you continue through the trees you sense beasts surrounding you on all sides the reek is ever present in your nose while their constant little growl plays in your nerves you have reached Fenrir's dread lair 
great. So you see all those FOEs. But I think depending on how you do this, you can um, ignore Fenrir and just skip it. Alright, let's take out this first. Yeah, a skull. Um, I don't think it's really any different than everything else. So we'll crush it. Really 
this suck? I, sh I should have been healing. I don't know why I wasn't healing. Because you can't go perfectly without dying. And he lost all his boost gauge. He didn't really need it. That is really depressing. I was doing so well without any deaths. And then that happened. Okay. Things. Yeah, I can just bend, 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 get your sinus. Let's go up, Liza. Actually, when I get up this, these stairs here, I'll meet you back in front of the boss room again. right in front of the boss room because I just remembered there's some more map left to explore. So let's go explore that. If we get a chance. Save up all the money I can for the boss.
you're finding lots of fenders and moles, maybe some of those bowls. Oh, definitely the bowls. We 
are prepared. Let's go. Now we get awesome boss music.
bang, level up. You encountered a new monster, Fenrir. Ifrit with the oils really does make a difference there. Especially if you do a boosted Ifrit. Because you saw that, it was like tripling the damage I was doing. Alright. Okay. And down we go. To the sixth floor, second stratum, primitive jungle. Ah, oh, this music, I haven't heard this in a while. Okay, so upstairs. As you reach the new stratum, you find a mysterious light shining in front of you. As you gaze upon the enigmatic scene, you hear someone descend the stairs behind you. You turn to see the two familiar adventures with the smiles on their faces. Well done, evil wind explorers. Rid of the wolves, the Emerald Grove again knows peace. Grim satisfaction is evident on the war warrior woman's red face as she gazes into your eyes. In overcoming hardships and growing stronger, you honor the Explorer's Guild. After defeating Fenrir, you'll be known as high-ranking adventures of Etria. We salute your hard work. May your continued exploration go well as it has thus far. The pleasantry is thus dispensed with. Friend points to the unearthly light behind you. See that light? We call it a geomagnetic field and use it to investigate the labyrinth. Truthfully, no one knows what created it or for what purpose, but its power is formidable. Touch it and you'll find yourself elsewhere. The rat has achieved and pioneered its use. Though you must be eager to explore a new stratum, I advise you to return to town first. Red and her flame-haired partner brush past you and you an approach the pillar of light. <laughs> In the blink of an eye, the two of them disappear from where they previously stood. Is this the power of a geomagnetic field? Red swear is staying with you as you continue. So I'll just explore all the way around it. Touch it in a second. I don't think we get any encounters until we go through this door. After reaching the new stratum, you suddenly remember... You had undertaken a mission from the Rathead to defeat Fenrir. It would be best to report your victory or the beast before exploring this new region. Yes, yes it would. Alright. So let's report the results and call it a video. Yes. Okay. Well, let's sell all that stuff we found first. Actually, it's what people have to save for quests. After we report the results of this video. Yeah, perhaps there is a little more. It seems you defeated the dreadful pack of wolves along with their leader, Fenrir. I thank you all. I thought it you to be common novices, but you've grown into fine adventurers. It always lifts my spirits to see young adventurers growing stronger. Can't tell if that's a guy or a girl. I'm pretty sure it's a guy. Continue working hard to explore the forest to improve your skills. Ah oh, yes, I almost forgot. For defeating Fenrir, we present a summary of this reward to show our gratitude for all your hard work. Obtain 2000 DM. Report results. Report discoveries. Monsters. Goods. Actually, not yet. Golden Deer Pub. Accept quests. Okay, Shadow of the Grove. A bad adventurer seeks vengeance by proxy on the unknown beast that attacked them on floor 5. Decided to take the request, have you? It's from an explorer who's a regular here. He was ambushed in the forest with his friends by an unknown monster on the fifth floor. It was too much for him to handle, so they panicked and ran away. He said it was a terrible poisonous spider that's usually seen deeper in the labyrinth. Been on the fifth floor a few times by now, right? The target is a monster that appears on the fifth floor where there normally be nothing. Get rid of it before more kids like uh, like them run afoul of it, okay? I'll be praying for you. And she's the most expensive, expressive designer. The lady, Miss Merrill, must have a butter have butterfly eyes for use in her new product. Oh my goodness, we need to go get some basic eyes. Decided to take the request. Have you good? I'm hoping hoping someone would. This one comes from Miss Merrill, Etria's finest designer. Every Every Etrian girl's dream is to step out wearing the accessories she creates. Her newest design, though, well, she says she needs five insect eyes for butterflies. I found her accessories myself, but I might not stand in line for this one. Well then, off you go. Believing in their power to draw their des 
desired lover's eye, a girl will pay handsomely for five star shaped seeds. Decide to take the request, have you? This girl wants you to gather star seeds for a. Yeah, for a love charm that supposedly grants wishes. She said she'll need five of them to complete the charm. It's kind of like wishing on a star, in a way. Cute. Horticulture. A stipulation of millionaires will request a cultivation of a flower you can never get to bloom. Decided to take the request, have you? I'm glad you're the ones who accepted it. There used to be an old man in that tree who grew lots of different types of flowers. I visited his garden now and then, and it always struck me as incredibly beautiful. Anyway, I heard the old man died the other day. In his will, he asked that he, someone try to grow the only flower he could never raise. His last words were that he knew it bloomed in a certain place in the labyrinth, but he found out that it was on the sixth floor. And of course, he was in no condition to go somewhere as dangerous as that. I have the flower seeds left behind, will you please give it a try? I know the old man will be rooting for you wherever he is now. Okay, guys, so we'll be able to complete most of these quests next time. What awaits us on the sixth stratum? Are we strong enough to actually go adventuring further to in into it, or are we going to have to level up somewhere? Find out next time on Let's Play at your C1. This is Paladin 98 and I'll see you on the next one.